natural scene. second here. So let me see your driver's license. I'll get you going, okay? Driver's license? I can't hear you. Okay, Miss, you got your ID on you? Okay. I need an ID from somebody. Quickly. We're right in the freeway here. Do you have the registration for the vehicle? Don't be drinking any of that water yet. Put that down, please. Thank you. Where are you coming from? Casino? Kalamazoo? Where's home for you? We're in Michigan. What city? Grand Rapids? Do you know why I'm stopping you? You're driving 45 miles an hour and you're swerving all over the place. You're all over the place, all over the road. Do you have a valid driver's license? You do? Let's step out of the car for me real quick. And it's right to the back of your car, please. Right back here, right of the road. You been drinking? None? You smoke anything? Take pills? You drive them terribly. What a, what a, you're all over the road. We got like five people that called on you today. They said, hey, you're driving like a crazy person. Hmm? Yes, you. You're going 45 miles an hour, which is the minimum. You can go on a freeway. You can't go any slower than that. I mean, you're sort of, I was just, I was behind you for quite a while. You didn't know I was behind you, did you? No. You're swerving all, you're not driving very What's your first name, sir? My name is Bizumano. How do you spell your first name? Bizumano. B I Z I M A N A. M A? Do you have a middle name? What's your last name? You spell it? S H O. S H O S H O spell. S H O N I. S H O N I. That's your last name. And what's your date of birth? Take any medication or anything? Okay. 
Is there a reason you're driving so slow and wobbly? Are you tired? Yeah, I was tired because I was uh, sleeping in Kalamazoo or Illinois? Kalamazoo. And you're just heading back to Grand Rapids? Yes. Okay. All right. Hang tight right here, okay? Here on my bump. Sit on the bump. Sit, right there. Sit. Smith, you have the vehicle's registration, please. Where are you guys coming from? From Columbus. He picked you up? Yes. Has he been drinking at all? No. No? What? He noticed he was driving kind of slow and wobbly? Well, maybe he's just tired. Okay. The vehicle's information, then I just need some kind of VIN on the vehicle. Is it a new vehicle or rental? Or, yeah, it's, it's, it's new. New? Yes. Okay. There we go. Mm. One second, okay? Sit right there. I just explained to you, you're driving horribly. You're going to sit right here. Take your seat right there and don't move, please. Thank you. Central 5232 7. Central 5232, you can show me out. I've explained to you the reason you've been stopped. There's no need to go back there again. I've this will be the third time now. Sit right there at the bumper and don't move.
don't think he's intoxicated. I think he's just a terrible driver or something. I mean, I can't smell anything. I don't know. She's like, he has been drinking. She, yeah, she said she hasn't had anything. She said she's got a permit. But I can't really understand her. She seems like she's... She thinks that he's just tired because he went all the way to, I guess, Illinois to pick her up. But there's a thick language barrier. I don't think he understands really what's going on. I tried to explain to him. He's driving really poorly and he's had several people call on him. Okay. And he's just confused, it seems like. So he keeps walking back and forth. He keeps reaching for water. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, I'm going to move our car up a little bit, and then I'll come back up. Okay. Hang tight with him. It's passing his information. I'm working on the driver still. It's a Pennsylvania ID. We just try the uh, ID number for now. I'm not sure which is first and last. on the top. I tried spelling his name like three times. Yeah, I'd say that's the last name. Okay, that's what I tried. First name, the middle name on the bottom, line two. You can try running the, uh, this is hers. Yeah. So you have a Michigan driver's license? I haven't identified that yet, but he's from Grand Rapids, he said. He gave you a name, at least? He did. Okay. He was going like 40 miles an hour at one point, just like right in the middle of the road, too. Yeah, I heard the BOL come out. We were at the post. Yeah. Well, I wasn't even, I didn't really see him, but the car behind him was just honk his horn and flash his lights. Okay. I'm like, that's probably him. Me try to find her. Or? Sure, I guess. I'm gonna try to figure out. Ask his name again here. I don't think I got it correct. They're running around lean right now, but uh, okay. I just ran it by the ops because I was like, yeah, okay. did you did you get anything back on the ops code? Okay, we're having some issues here with your name. I think we might have spelled it wrong. This is your first last name. First name? Is that right? Yes. Okay. And this is your last name? Michigan? 
Here's him. That's first last. Yeah, first and then showing the last. Okay, we're just going to do a few tests real quick to make sure you're okay, all right? Go ahead, stand up for me. Put your feet together just like this. Hands out of your pocket, right down to your side, all right? Just look straight forward at my finger, okay? Can you see my finger? Yes. Put your hands down for me. Right down by your side. Right by your side. So good. Outside of your pockets. There you go. You see my finger? Yes. Okay. I'm going to be going back and forth. You just got to look at my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Okay, so keep your head still and follow with your eyeballs. Do you have anything, any injuries or anything like that? Any knee injuries or anything? No? Okay, but it's not going to affect your walking at all? I just got to have you walk down and back. Can you do it in your sandals or do you need shoes? I can't do it. You can't? I sure can do it. You can't. Okay. I'm going to explain to you what to do, and then I'm going to show you, and then you're going to do it, okay? Okay. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to take your right foot and bring your left foot just like this, and you're just going to stand there just like that, okay? Just to make sure you're not drunk. Okay? No, I'm not drunk. I know, this is what we're determining right now. You take your right foot in front of your left foot just like this. Go ahead. And just stand there like this. Okay, put your hands out of your pockets, just down to your side. Okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take nine steps down, we're gonna turn around, take nine steps back, it's gonna look just like this, okay? When you do it, you're gonna count out loud, you're gonna look down at your toes, and it's gonna be just like this. One, two, three, all the way to nine, and once you get to nine, we're gonna turn around, you can do the same thing back. So heel to toe, nine steps back with your right foot in front of your left foot, just like this. One, two, three, all the way through you get to nine, okay? You understand that? Kind of? Okay, do your best. Just like I showed you, go ahead. You're going to count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so forth until I tell you to stop, okay? Got to have your hands out of your pocket, though. So. All right? Whenever you're ready, right down by your side. Ready? Hands down by your side. There you go. Whenever you're ready. You got to count out loud. You got to count out loud. Oh, me, oh, you. You're going to count. 
how much alcohol is in your system, okay? Are you willing to do that? It's a the whole thing that we're doing is to make sure you're not intoxicated, okay? You haven't had anything to drink. You said so yourself. So this breath test is going to show you have had nothing into your in your system. Therefore, I'm going to give you to your girlfriend, and off you guys go. Good? Are you okay with that? Okay. Have you ever taken one before? Okay. Ever. I've been. You've taken a, a PGT before? Yeah. Okay. So you're familiar with it. That's what I'm asking. I know, so we're almost done. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a deep breath, wrap your lips around the straw, and it's gonna blow long and steady. It's gonna be like this. Don't tell you to stop, okay? Okay. Okay. I've explained that to you already. You're driving terribly, okay? This is gonna be part of the investigation. If you're probably just tired, and off you're gonna go, okay? That's all I'm worried about. All right, deep breath and blow. Go harder. Go, go, go harder, harder. Not going hard enough. You gotta go harder than that. Like this. I can feel like you're not blowing, okay? Alright? One more try. Keep going. Go. You gotta go harder than that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a deal. You know what, this is what you gotta do. Okay? This is how you prove you're not toxic. Does that make sense? This is how we determine if you're not intoxicated. Right now, I think you're drunk. You haven't been drinking, right? Yeah, you. No drinking, right? Okay, then, so you gotta, see, this is part of the test. You gotta show me, okay? So deep breath and you gotta blow into a straw, okay?
and then right here with the partner, just saying I got to put my snap. Okay. I've just Please explained to you that you cannot ring. Right no, you're going to make your argument. Please. Can I talk to the, my, my girl, please? No, not right now. You've asked and I've explained it to you. I'm going to get in. I'm going to get in. I'm not. I'm not going to get in. 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 I'm doing my job. I've explained yes. this to you. I will relay whatever you need to talk to her about. If you need to make a phone call, I will let you make a phone call. No, I'm going to talk to her down when she in the car right there. And I will talk to her for you in a minute. But we're on the freeway. It's dangerous. i got to get you in here for your own safety and mine. No, I'm going to go and talk to her. No. No. You got I'm not going to get You don't have to. Let me go and talk to her. Right what do you bro? Listen to me. Do you, you want to get in more trouble? If I want to go and talk to her right there, I, I can understand. say two I, I will bring Let's her see. to you. I will bring her to you and she can talk to you, okay? Okay. Is that okay? Okay, get some. Hold on. Turn the car that right way, sir. Hold still. Hold still for me, sir. you got to get your finger. finger now. We'll see if we can get something back. I can't find it. Go ahead and take a seat, please. Jump in. Yeah, I'll go I'm going to bring her to you, but you got to sit down. Lean back, please. Yeah, please. Do you have a cell phone in there you want? Do you have a cell phone and or a wallet you want to bring with you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me explain to you what's going on here. He's been drinking. Okay, a lot. He is twice the legal limit of what you can have while you're driving. Okay, he's driving very dangerously. It's very, it's very dangerous for you both to be on the road, okay? So you had a lot of people calling, a lot of people calling and asking to check on him because he was driving so poorly, okay? Um, do you have a, a driver's license? No? Okay, do you have anybody in the area that can come pick you up? Because he's, he's, we're taking him to jail for driving under the, driving drunk. Where in Grand Rapids? Is it a new place? Do you have, do you have keys and stuff like that to the house? So if we got you a ride there, would you be able to get into your home? Do you have a, a driver's license out of Pennsylvania? Are you comfortable driving? You're not? 
Okay. Um, okay. Do you want to talk to you for a second? Do you want to chat with him for a minute? Okay. Just hang tight real quick. Talk to him real quick. Just wanted to ask you a few questions, I think. Side, you maybe you guys give her, give her a ride. get out in a few hours. You just got to sober up. That's all. Miss, do you understand that? When we go to the gym, it's going to be like six hours once he's sober. Then he can he can go. Someone can pick him up and he can go. So it's not like you're going to be there forever. You're just going to be there for the next six hours or so. We're in the middle of the freeway. We gotta go. Probably gonna have to. I'll be able to call you and talk to you in a little bit. I'll let him make, a, make phone calls and talk to you, okay? You gotta get out of the room. Come on. Come on.
Okay. okay. I can't have you out on the road anymore. It's too dangerous. What do you... I can... And he can also call you. Once we get to the jail, let him make a call. Is that okay? So... We're gonna... We gotta tow your vehicle because you can't drive, okay? But we're gonna... The tow company is gonna be in Kent County, so it's gonna be a little closer for you. And then my partners here, once you get squared away, they're gonna try to give you a ride home. If you can figure out... If you know your address. Do you know it? Yes. Okay, what's... What part... What's the address? You make a phone call to her, okay, so you can talk to her. What's my phone? There. So your permit is out of Michigan, right? Correct? We spelled it right. I'm having trouble figuring out. We're having trouble identifying it. So how it works is, once we get to the jail, I tried to explain it to you out there, is you just gotta sober up, okay? So it's gonna be like six hours, and then they'll give you another breath test, and then once you're below a certain limit, you're free to go. You can get a ranger ride, you can get a taxi, and you're gone, okay? But you gotta be there until you sober up. Central, 5242, Keep going, standby. Can you see drive to the bus station and my brother can come get the car? She can't drive. She's out of license. 5242, I'll leave. Go ahead. Okay, so my driver's information. Okay, so my driver's information. First name is going to be Boy Ida Zebra. Get as close to your address as you can. What is 
What's your address? Fifty-two thirty-two with a van on lane. Three, Frank, Adam, David, Paul, Paul, Mary, John, Paul, Frank, Mary, and three zero three zero five. Seven. You saying that this is? She doesn't have to bring her home, please. We're okay. going to drive her home, and then we're going to tow your, we have to tow your vehicle. We can't leave it here. And then we're going to, but it's going to be closer to your house, so you can get it out a lot easier, okay? get here back from the record. Okay. Uh, so I think there's still any contact barriers here in Fire Center. Oh. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah. You good if I scoop? Yeah. We're good. Okay. Don't get to the jail, you can call her, right? Okay. Every told you I'm telling you I'm going to put the money down. What's that? So I can find my stuff. What are you saying? I want to tell her the way she can put her money so I can buy myself out. Yeah, she can bring, she can bring money. Okay, can, can I talk to her? 